mean to bother you but it is so crowded in here do you mind if i just sit here i only need a minute i only need a minute i just gotta pick a bar eat a bar and then go back to work is that okay i won't bother you i promise it looks like you're really busy so i'll just i, I won't say a word is that okay thank you i'm trying to pick between these two bars can you help me now, let me tell you what I'm doing. This is so, this changed my life. I gotta tell you about it. I, I, let me just tell you this right quick and then I'll leave you alone. Help me pick one and then I'll, I'll shut up. But um, you know what I've started doing just in the last week? Well, yesterday, last night, um, I have started eating clean. I have decided no more junk food for me, no preservatives, no artificial colors, flavors, anything. I'm eating whole foods and clean. I'm eating totally clean. So I picked up these two bars the other night at the fresh market and I, I can't decide, I can't decide which one I want to eat. Now, this is going to be my lunch basically. So I just, it's a meal in a, in a little packet. So I've got this uh, performance keto bar. Now, it, I, I think the, the colors are unappealing, the green and the blue and the white together. Just something about the whole color scheme of this package. Just, it looks like a bag of chicken feed for some reason. You know, see, I grew up on a farm. Did you know that? I grew up on a farm and we always had chickens. And um, I thought they were gross, but I didn't get a vote because I was small. And the bags of chicken feed had the, the same kind of a layout on it. So it seems kind of weird to eat a bar that looks like a bag of chicken feed and then it reminds me of being small and it was just gross. And so, I mean, that's put me off of this already, but I wanted to try it because it was the most expensive one they had. So I'm thinking it's probably the best one. And I, I want to really totally devote my whole life to this thing that I just started doing last night. And it says that it has macros that matter. Now, I'm not really sure what a macro is, but they've got it here in these big red letters, so it must be important. Now, this has no gluten, no soy, and no sugar alcohols. I'm going to miss my alcohol. <laughs> it's a chocolate avalanche. The flavor is chocolate avalanche. Do you like chocolate? Well, I guess you do because you got some on your, your little, in your little tray there. Chocolate Avalanche. Okay, so now this is the first one. Now the other one, I got this last night too. This is called, it is an IQ bar. And I'm thinking I might want to eat this because I'm telling you, it's Monday. I'm feeling a little slow. I could probably use a little help with my IQ today. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? You know how it is, Mondays. I hate Mondays. You know what I mean? You ever just feel like you just hate Mondays? <sighs> I hate Mondays. I know, but maybe an IQ bar would help me. <laughs> What's good about it? Well, it's almond butter chip flavor. It's keto, paleo friendly, and vegan. It has six brain nutrients, 10 grams of plant protein, less than a gram of sugar, and four grams of total net carbs. It's dairy free, soy free, gluten free, non GMO, and kosher. So, I mean, if you had to pick, just we'll make this really quick. Just can you just, you'd eat this one, the chicken feed bar. I don't want that one. Really? What's wrong with this one? What have you got against this one? So you'd pick this one. Well, you said this one a minute ago. I think you're just saying that because you think I want you to. Well, I don't want to hurt your feelings, so I'll eat this one. So you just go on with whatever you're doing there. I'm not going to bother you anymore. It smells like burnt toast. What are you doing? What is that? A seating chart for what? Do you really? I never knew that. Well, you never, you never talk about it. 
Carol. Did you know she does ballroom dancing? Well, I didn't know. How come nobody told me that? You never told me that she does ballroom dancing. How long have you been doing that? Why didn't you say something? I did not empty the coffee pot. Don't look at me. Well, whoever emptied it needs to put more in there. They need to do the little thing, put the packet in there, fill it with water, and push that red button. Look, I'm eating clean. Okay, I don't know if you knew that. I am eating clean. I don't even touch coffee anymore. Okay, no coffee, no soda, no sugar, no junk. Totally clean. I was just telling her about it. Mm-hmm. Well, I've been doing it long enough that you should have heard about it. It looks nice, doesn't it? This is clean. Thank you very much. Look at that. It's a, it's a, it's an IQ bar. Yeah, I thought so. Go stir up your oatmeal and eat it. It smells like a combination of burnt toast and pine needles. I'm scared to bite it. Ooh. If this is what I need to be smart, I think I'm just going to go on being stupid. It has absolutely no flavor. It tastes like styrofoam. Not that I eat styrofoam, but I'm saying if I were to eat it, it tastes like this. I can't bring myself to do it. So how long have you been doing this ballroom dancing thing? You know, I heard that's really good exercise. You ever see those people on, uh, what is it, Dancing with the Stars? You see how skinny they get? They get real fit and athletic. Mm-hmm. So you've been doing it how long? Three years. Huh. Oh, nothing. Nothing. That's a long time to be. How, how often do you do it? Two nights a week. Really? Every week? Must be something with the program and the TV show. Uh huh. They just have all those hot lights on them. Plus, they have personal chefs and stuff and trainers and plastic surgery, probably. Liposuction. This is awful. It tastes like spackle mixed with insulation. Hey, um, you know what? It looks like you're struggling there. You, you want me to help you some with that seating chart? See, I happen to be very good at organization. I am. And I need something to keep my mind off this here. I just, you want some? You want, here, look, like you can bite the end I didn't touch. You want to bite it and try it. It's got it, it's something that looks like chocolate chips in there. But they don't taste like anything. You bite them and it's a little bit... They don't taste like chocolate at all. They don't taste like anything. What kind of voodoo is that? I want something to keep my mind off this. See, I had an epiphany yesterday. I did. Yesterday evening, I went on a date with this guy. I met him I met him at Michael's. I was in there picking out some ribbon, and he was in there getting some glue for some project. He's a teacher. And, um... So we, we were going to go out for dinner and a movie, and I thought that sounded nice. But we ended up dining at the movie theater. Have you ever dined in a movie theater? It's not like they show it in the little preview clips of the, you know, before you go see a movie where they're sitting there smiling and laughing and eating, you know, corn dogs and stuff. It's nothing like that. No. I ended up having a big tray of nachos and this little pigs in a blanket. That was our dinner. He decided that we would just eat there. I had nachos and pigs in a blanket and this mini pizza and the cheese on it tasted like, it tasted like plastic. And by the time he paid for all that, we could have gone to the steakhouse for what that cost. And well, we went to see the new Sonic movie, which I thought was weird, but he said all of his students keep talking about it and he just had to go see it because he was lost. He didn't grow up playing video games. His parents wouldn't let him play them. They said that video games were from the devil and you shouldn't do anything with those. And so he has to kind of play catch up now that he, he's, huh? Well, he's a third grade teacher. 
And so he has to kind of play catch up to see what these kids are doing. And uh, so I got so violently ill. I think it was the cheese. Because you don't ever know how long that's been sitting there. It gets old and it gets that film on it. And I believe it had that skin on it when they gave it to me. And I, I, I had to eat it because I was trying to be polite because he seems really nice. And um, anything to get out of the house because my cats are driving me insane. But uh, so... I started feeling violently ill, and I said, look, I'm sorry, but uh, I think I'm going to have to go home. And then he thought that maybe something had happened in the movie that had upset me, and I said, no, it's actually kind of nice to see Jim Carrey again. It didn't have anything to do with that. It's just that I think I'm going to be violently ill, and I don't want you to think poorly of me, so i got to go. And I got home, and I felt awful, and it was the end of the world. But, you know, later on I started feeling better, and I decided then that... This, this was the wrong path for me. I need to start eating clean. It helped my skin and my hair. And maybe I'll sleep better because I don't sleep too well. So, but I started eating clean as of last night. And I'm going to do really well. This is my first step on the road to eating clean. It's been a rough step. I'm thinking... I'm thinking it's something you have to acquire. You ever heard of an acquired taste? You know what that is? Where it's gross at first, but then you get used to it. And after a while, it's you can at least tolerate it. That kind of sums up my first marriage. It tastes like sadness. I gotta hurry up and meet this. I gotta get back to work. I got I got a lot to do. I'm telling you. I've just been so rushed lately. I've been so stressed. That was another reason I wanted to start eating clean. I thought maybe that would help me with my stress. Oh, don't let me stop you. I'm sorry. I'm so hey. I I'll say no more. I'll be quiet. I'm just gotta hurry up and eat this thing, so I gotta get back to work. Yeah, I was just telling Taylor the other day, she was out in the hall, and I was telling her how busy I was. And it took me a good 20 minutes to explain it to her. I thought she really could grasp how busy I am. I am slammed. I have no free time. And then I had to go in the break room and just sit down and drink some water for an hour just to calm down. To get back to where I could focus. This is going to help, though. I'm going to eat this thing if it kills me. I'm going to be healthy if it kills me. That's funny. It may kill me yet. Did you get your annual reports done? Harry's... No. <coughs> Lord, my throat. Harry's been on to me. I need some water. No, I'm only drinking al alkaline water. And the water out of that filter over there is nasty. I don't think they changed the filter out of that thing. Mm -mm. Plus, Gary only orders styrofoam cups. And part of my new clean lifestyle is I will not use any styrofoam. I will not, although I think I'm eating it right now. <clears throat> Lord, I don't have anything to drink. I didn't remember to bring my alkaline water. I bought a whole jug of it at Whole Foods. And I went off and left it at home. It's sitting in my garage. I hope it didn't freeze overnight. It probably didn't. Well, I forgot to bring it in because I was going to bring it with me. And I thought, just leave it out here. Don't worry about it. I still forgot it. This thing is catching in my throat. It's so dry. Do you have anything to drink? I mean, I hate to bother you. What if... A Pepsi. Well, I can't drink that. Mm -mm. I'm just going to sit here and slowly, silently choke to death. So your annual reports... I know he's been getting on to me to get them done. I told him, I said, I don't have time. I'm running here, I'm running there, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. I have no free time in this office. <sighs> it took me a good 30 minutes yesterday afternoon. It was right before I left. It took me a good 30 minutes to sort my paper clips. It's all about efficiency. You see, people don't understand that. Do you mind? 
look, I don't have anything. Do you mind if I just have a sip of that? Just a little sip because I'm eating clean. But can I, can I just have a little sip because it's my, my throat? I promise. A stra no, I'm not going to use a straw. Uh-uh. You know about straws. You can't use straws. Even the reusable straws. Uh-uh. You eating clean, you got to go straw free. Because even the reusable straws have stuff in them. That, I mean, eventually they're going to end up out there too. Stuck up a turtle's nose. You go straw free. I just take a little sip. I won't even get my mouth on it. Look, I don't have any, I don't have the coronavirus or anything. Give, give it. Although, you know, they say that you can pass, uh, you can pass that on even when, when you're asymptomatic. Oh, it's a, mm. It's almost got it. I believe I got it. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. That's really nice of you to do that. <clears throat> I was saying a minute ago, if you will let me take a look at that seating chart, I am especially gifted when it comes to organizing seating charts. I'm really good at it. <clears throat> so what kind of event are you organizing here? You're doing, let me see it. So it's a, a charity ball. Oh, that's sweet. What charity are you raising money for? Okay, that's all right. Now you got names down here. Who are these people? Okay, it looks like you got six people per table. How big are your tables? That's important. You don't want people crammed in there. Now what? <clears throat> Lord have mercy. I'm sorry. Hang on. I can't quite get it. <clears throat> Oh, you know, I feel better already. Okay, what, what, what kind of meal are we talking about here? Are we doing like a full dinner? Okay, that's, that's all right. Let's see. Well, I, I'm thinking you're going to end up with people bumping elbows just looking at this thing unless your tables are absolutely gigantic. Now, what are, the, what's the measurement of these tables? Are they all the same? Yeah, that's not gonna work. You don't need. You, you, I would cut it down to five pre people per table and just add another table. Do you have space for that? Because if you try to fit six people on a table like that, it's mm -mm. they're gonna be killing each other. Now I see here. I see here where you got an Yvette next to an Yvonne. That right off the bat needs to change. Okay, I have never met an Yvette and Yvonne that get along. You cannot put them right beside one another. At least put them across the table from each other. Because if you don't, they're going to end up getting in a fight. Is there going to be alcohol? Uh, yeah, you definitely need to move them then because that's not going to work. I see you have an Eric over here. I would recommend moving Yvette over to where Eric is. And that's going to put Priscilla over here between. You're going to have Priscilla and Eric in between them. And then you got Darcy here and Gabe. Keep it that, what, Eric and Gabe are together. Well, they'll be all right. They're still at the same table. I, oh, well, if you don't want to do that, you don't really have any other options because you got Priscilla and Darcy, Eric and Gabe. But can you put Yvette at a different table? Like, are all these couples? Take one of the other single people and swap them with Yvette. That's my, that's my recommendation. Now, you can go and do whatever you want to, but... I'm just saying, unless you want to end with a barroom brawl, or I guess I should say a ballroom brawl, <laughs> I am on fire today. It's got to be the clean living, I'm telling you. See, I had my probiotics first thing this morning. I got up bright and early. I thought about going for a jog, and then I got my yogurt. I got this yogurt. It's, yogurt is very important. That's that's a big part of whole, a whole foods diet. I only want things that come straight from the earth, things that are natural and whole and complete. I was telling my, I was telling this man in line at Whole Foods. I said, "Where's your yogurt?" He had this big pack of hamburger meat and buns, and he was getting ready to do a cookout. I said, "Where's your yogurt?" He said, "I don't have any yogurt. I hate yogurt." I said, "You hate yogurt." You hate yogurt. All that red meat is going to clog up your arteries. You're going to die. And he said, well, I'll die happy. I said, 
said, I don't think you understand. Probiotics are everything. Look at what I have. I had a whole cart. I had a bunch of yogurt in there, and I got the really special kind. I got the organic yogurt with the, with the Oreo crumbles to go in it, which I can see where you would think that was bad, but see, the probiotics and the organics and the electrolytes cancels out the Oreos, so it's like they're not even there. It's like they don't even exist. It's, I mean, it's, it's practically like eating just a, a wheelbarrow full of kale. It's the best thing you could ever do for your body. And then the man told me to hush and he was trying to pay. And so you just can't help some people. But I got my yogurt. I had my yogurt this morning. Came in. I, I, I meant to bring my alkaline water. I was going to start drinking that today and forgot it. But tomorrow, tomorrow I'm going to be right on it. Yes, I am. And I got my bar and everything is good. Uh uh. No, you done messed up here. First of all, you got Yvette and Yvonne. I just spotted this. You do realize you got a Ron and a Jeremy together, right? Ron Jeremy. Don't you hear that? Ron Jeremy. Mm mm. You need to move one of them. And you got a Kathy coming. Kathy's are always trouble with things like that. Are you doing a silent auction or anything? You're not. Well, how do you expect to raise any money for this thing? You, you can't have a charity event without a silent auction. Everybody knows that. I just can't even with this bar. You mind if I... Would you care if I just killed this? Well, the nutrients in here will, will, uh, will cancel this out anyway. Plus, it's zero sugar. I mean, yeah, it's fine. That means I can drink all of it I want. <laughs> mm. Okay. So, how are you raising money for this charity? They buy tickets. They bought tickets to the ball. How much were the tickets, if you don't mind me asking? Now, if it's too personal, I won't ask. $100. Per person or per couple? Per person? Well, don't you have some rich friends? I need to hang out with you more often. I need to become your friend. You have a lot of money. No. Did, I, did these people have money? Well, I wish you told me about it. I would have seen if you could have given me a ticket to it. I would have thought about going. <sighs> well, I can't get through the rest of the day on five nibbles out of a bar but I'm not gonna let it discourage me I'm gonna keep on I'm gonna press on and eat clean I'm gonna start doing that you know that salad you're eating looks pretty good although it looks like you would it is that ranch dressing on it yeah see I can't have that um, can't eat that you know it's not good for you it has all that cholesterol and and the preservatives and all that salt and fat and yeah I, I can't eat that way anymore what are those little crunchy things you got there in your little what is that can I try you don't mind if I, can I just nip one just little cheese crunchies these don't have artificial flavor or color, do they? What do you mean you don't think so? It smells healthy. It's probably fine. They're so crunchy. Mmm. That's gonna get stuck in my teeth. You got any flaws? Mm. Hey, can I I need something. Can I have that? You don't mind, do you? What kind of cheese is this? White cheddar. Please tell me it's at least organic. It's not. It's just a little piece of spine. It doesn't smell like anything. I don't know if that's good or bad. I 
I can't. Here comes your friend. I don't know. I heard about that. <laughs> I don't like her either. It's okay. I don't know what her deal is. That's what I was about to ask you. Don't stare. seen her even come in here. You know, she only works three days a week. I know. What's up with that, right? Must be nice to only have to work three days a week. <laughs> I couldn't imagine. <laughs> I know some of us have to actually earn money. Mm. And she's so quiet all the time. Oh my God. I just, I know. She never talks. The only time she ever says hey to me is when I say it to her first. If I don't say hey, she just look at me and smile. She won't even say anything. She's so stuck up. She just comes in, goes in her office, and you know she doesn't even work all day. I heard that her ex-husband was taking care of her like she gets a fat alimony check. And that's why she only works three days a week. And when she does work... She usually only works for like four hours and then she's gone for the rest of the day. Can you imagine what that would be like? I would get so much done if I had all that free time. She only works like 12 hours a week. It's crazy. Well, it's got to be alimony. I mean, what else could it be? Unless she won the lottery or something. I'd be out of here if I won the lottery. My heck with this place. I mean, no offense, but... You know, I'm going to get another one of these. You don't mind, do you? Why are they so crunchy? You need to get some of those. Mmm. You need to get some chewy snacks. Yeah. I'll chase it with that. Oh, these actually go really good together. Watch this. Oh, these are good. You should try it. Don't get those because I kind of, I've kind of, I'm calling dibs on them. I'll trade you this. You can have, you know this? It's gently used, one careful owner. Clean title. You got a napkin. So if you already got names on all the all the things, what are you working on? What are you, what are you sitting there doing? What are you writing? What is that? What kind of menu are you thinking about? What kind, What is that? Chicken. You can't give them chicken if they've paid $100 a piece to come to this thing. You can't do chicken. you got to do something fancier than chicken. I mean, are you serious about that? No, -uh, you can't do chicken. Come up with something else. Do like veal or at least steak. I mean, you can't give them chicken. I'm going to McDonald's and get that. No, you got to dress it up. I'm glad I sat down here because you need me. Uh, so, are you looking at maybe a seafood option? What about vegetarians and vegans and whatnot? None of them are. Hmm. Well, all right. What kind of salad are you talking about? Cobb salad. Nobody actually likes that. You know that, right? Nobody actually likes that stuff. You know, I used to think it was called that. Because I thought it was that I thought it was one of those salads that had the little corns on the cobs on there. I thought that's why they called it cob salad. <laughs> you know, as you get older, you realize you're really dumb in certain ways. You know, the things that you thought you knew, then they're just not so. And sometimes you find out in really embarrassing situations. Yeah, like last night I found out I can't eat uh, movie theater nachos. I didn't know before last night, but at least I learned something. You know, it's good to learn something every day. So, 
what do you have for dessert? Because I know you got something good. You remember that time you made those brownies? Those were delicious. They made me want to eat a lot, though. It was really weird. Yeah, I, I, I just, I wanted to eat everything in sight. And then I just went in my office and laid down and took a nap. It was a really transcendent experience. Are you ever going to make them again? You know, we have that thing coming up for Memorial Day. Maybe you could do it then. I thought they were great. So what have you got? Ooh, chocolate chip cookies. You brought a lot, too. Are you going to eat all those? That's a lot of really pretty little cookies there. Did you make those cookies? Hmm. No. Oh. No, I don't want one. No, 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 no. Well, I'll take one because I don't want to hurt your feelings. I, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to do that. Mmm. Those are nice. Did you make them with butter? I can taste it. It's good. I used to love the way Julia Child would say butter. Remember, I can't say it like she does, but the way she would say the word butter. This makes me so tingly and relaxed to hear her say the word butter. Just to hear her talk in general. I just used to love to watch Julia Child when I was a kid. When I was a child, I loved to watch Julia Child. <laughs> I crack me up. <sighs> you gotta get back to work. Look, don't do it yet. Don't go yet. You know, I finally figured out what happened to the printer, the copier. The copier, you know, last week we were having the problems with it. I figured out what was wrong with it. I cracked the case. I was like Scooby and Shaggy. It was awesome. Well, everybody was talking about it. You didn't hear about what happened to the copier last week? Everybody was talking about it. Well, a few people were talking about it. I was talking about it, but I figured it out. That's what matters. Hey, now don't tell anybody about this, okay? I don't want to get anybody in trouble. That's the only thing. Like, the satisfaction for me... Can I have another? The satisfaction for me is just knowing that I figured out what happened. Because, you know, most of the time when the copier dies, we never find out what happened to it. The dude comes in from the copier repair what you call it and he does his thing he brings in his little hand truck of stuff and his tool bag and he goes in there and he tinkers with it and then he leaves and we never find out what was wrong with it is that what i think it is mm. well you really um <clears throat> you really did lunch up right today chocolate pecan bark really did you make that you did did you make any of that peppermint bark i remember you made that last year and it was so delicious i ate about half of it <laughs> sorry well it sure does look good with all the pecans in it mm. i bet that i bet dark chocolate oh dark chocolate and pecans i bet that's fabulous <gasps> no i can't i can't because i'm i'm eating clean I, I can't you know i can't do chocolate i already had a little bit in those cookies but the way i see it the cookies are fine because everything i eat comes from the earth and you know even those long words that i can't pronounce you know they came from the earth somehow or another like um you know, maltodextrin and li uh, lipid, I don't even know. It all came from the earth somehow. And so the chocolate chip cookies are fine. Can I have another one? I feel the toxins just leaving my body. I have so much more energy now. It's amazing. Mmm. So, I don't want to forget about the seating chart. Move Yvette or Yvonne, doesn't matter. Put, her in, put one of them at another table. Get Ron and Jeremy away from one another. You have a Stella coming. Stella. 
do people ever make fun of her for her name? You know, Stella. Do they ever do that? I feel sorry for people named Stella. You got a Carl. I guess he'll be all right. I bet he can't dance. Tracy. Howard. Lord have mercy. Yeah, move Yvette or Yvonne and get Ron and Jeremy away from one another. Do not do chicken. And Cobb salad is not called that because of the little corns. Beyond that, I got nothing else right now. But if you want to get together after work, you know, see, because I go to play bingo at the old folks' home. Sometimes I call out the numbers, the letters and things. If you want to come with me, we can discuss it further. If you want, you got to go. No, don't go yet. Don't go yet. I got something to tell you. Now, this is a secret. I don't want you telling anybody. Okay? Because, like I said, I don't want to get anybody in trouble. You know, I can smell that now that you opened it. I can smell that dark chocolate. Boy, I can really smell it. No, I'm fine. I don't need any of that. That's Lord, I, I can't. Because that, that cross is the line, you know. I, I'm trying to eat clean, and it's not really nice of you to do that. It's it's not right of you to try to tempt me with your your food items there. I got it all right here. I wrote this up just for my own records in case it ever comes up again. You know, it never hurts to have documentation if people ever want to question you about anything. Now, this all started a week ago. It did. It started Monday, February 10th. All right. Now, I only know this because my office is right across the hall from the copier. And I'm also close enough to the men's room that I can tell you the men around here who don't wash their hands after they go to the bathroom. It would, it would scandalize you. Like, I don't even want to tell you how many men around here do not wash their hands. Because you can tell by the timing, okay? You hear the flush of the toilet, and then they immediately come out. You know, good and well, they didn't wash anything. You know, I heard one of them say one time. I heard him say, well, it doesn't count if you didn't touch anything. Can you believe that? It's, I'm sorry, you're trying to eat. I don't want to talk about bathrooms. I'm sorry. I'm, please finish up your salad there and, and enjoy your delicious dark chocolate pecan bar. I, I swanee that, oh, enjoy it so much. Maybe if I just took that small piece, just that that one, that do you mind? I, you know, and I and I'll give you my honest opinion. It's for science because I'm tasting it and I'm going to be a critic, not critical, but I want to tell you if it's good or not. And I'll be honest. I value honesty between people. Well, it looks pretty. Oh, that's nice. Oh, it melts. So nice. It smells good. That's good. Oh, that's so good. When did you make this? It's about the time I was being violently ill for my movie theater dinner. That's wonderful. You did a good job. How much did you make? Three pounds. Wow. There's a weird aftertaste. What is that? Oh, it's has some. Oh, kind of like coffee. It's like coffee beans. No, I do. There's a uh, there's an aftertaste of coffee, and I know it's not because I've been drinking coffee because I am clean. I do not drink coffee anymore. Never touching it again. Totally clean. No coffee. No soda. Well, not after I finish this one anyway. This is it, and I'm done with soda. After I kill this can. Do you mind if I try one more taste? Because I, I just, there may be a little bit of a cross uh, flavor contamination because of this. Let me just, I'm just going to, I'm just going to grab one more little piece. Just that one right there. I can't be sure. Okay, I have one more.
There's definitely something there. Maybe I need to cleanse my palette. <clears throat> no, don't leave. Don't leave. I want to tell you about the copier. I'm cleansing my palette. Just give me a second. Okay. One week ago, I noticed that every once every hour or two, the copier would start making this weird whiny noise. Not like a kid in the grocery store, but it was kind of like, like, like that. You would hear it and it was the sound of a roller or something. It's melting on my fingers. I wonder if I could eat this to hmm. Well, if it grosses you out, don't look. Oh, they don't go together. No. Mm-mm. Don't do that. That was last Monday. The following day, something very crucial happened the following day. Yvette left her coffee cup sitting on the coffee, the copier. Now, I don't know what time exactly she did that. Now, I went in there right before 9 a.m. Tuesday morning because I needed to print some, I had printed some stuff to the copier, went in there to get it. She left it in there sometime between 9 and 10 a.m. on Tuesday. When I went back in there, I went in there to get some envelopes. I saw the cup and I drew a picture right here. So here's the copier. The cup, the cup was sitting right up there, right there, which is absurd because there's so much counter space right there at the copier. There's no reason to set a cup on it. It was her little, that cup with that stupid looking koala on it, that little cartoon koala bear. It looks like it's stoned off his ass, that one. Well, I handled it. Hold on. I took that cup into the kitchen and I poured it out. She had her espresso in there. It was completely full. I poured all the espresso out. I even rinsed it out because I am a good person. All right. Now, Wednesday. We're up to Wednesday of last week, February 13th. I saw Alex go in there into the copy room with the whole stack of documents, little stapled packets of documents. I saw him go in there into the copy room all right now the following day thursday february 14th the printer when we came in was already not working it was already down nobody was able to do anything with the copier on thursday all right i got it figured out remember i told you about that whiny noise okay that whiny noise was it had to be a roller that had gotten dried out. Um, it's because of the cartridges that use the ink cartridges. Gary buys these cheap ink cartridges out of the trunk of this guy's car in the pocket, the parking lot at Costco. It's not even in Costco. He gets them, gets them out, buys them out of this tr guy's trunk. They're so cheap that they dry out the rollers. Okay, now here's what I think must have happened. So, you got the cheap ink that's causing the whiny rollers. And the rollers are going to start sticking. You're going to have a problem. So already there's a sort of a problem. Okay. Then, you had Yvette's cup of espresso. What I think happened was... I think some of Yvette's espresso must have spilled down into the copier because I noticed when I picked it up there were a few drips on the sides of the cup and I think some got down into the copier because where it was sitting it would have been very easy for some to drip down inside the copier. So you got espresso down in there with the cheap ink and the rollers are sticking together. And then you remember Alex went in there with all those staple documents. I 
bet he was going in there to make copies of all those stapled documents. And he had so many of them stapled. And you know they say, do not put any staples or paper clips in there. And I even went even further. You remember several weeks ago, people were rolling their eyes about the sticky note that appeared on the copier that said, do not put paper clips or staples anywhere near this copier. And I mean it with a mad face like that. Well, that was me because I take things seriously. Don't even, don't even act like you're going to put a paper clip or a stapler near that copier. Don't set it on the copier. Don't even think about staples or paper clips when you're using the copier. And if people would do that, we wouldn't have to call that copier guy. He smells like fish and I don't like it when he comes. <clears throat> he comes in here and then the whole office smells like a fish market. Okay. I, 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 as many documents as he had and all the little staples. There is no way he remembered to pull all those staples out before he copied them. No way. So, well, you remember how he went in that kitchen one time? He went in the kitchen and then a, a little bit later, like five minutes later, Kathy went in there and she slipped on some jelly on the floor and fell and hurt her back. Do you remember that? That had to be Alex too. Alex refuses to take, he will not accept responsibility for anything he does. I mean, it's, it's plain as day. Alex went in there and then Kathy slipped and fell. It had to be Alex's fault. She slipped on jelly that was on the floor. And you know, Alex loves breakfast. So, I mean, there you go. That's what it was. I totally see the connection. Alex loves breakfast. What is, the, what is one of the main things people like at breakfast? Jelly. He was in there. It was morning time and then Kathy slipped on jelly. You got to put two and two together. Sometimes you got to use your brain. See, I even drew a little jelly jar to illustrate my point. So Alex was in there making copies. Uh, lots of staples were involved. And if he happened to try to feed a stack of documents through with staples in them, do you think he would tell anybody? No. So you got the staples that are now whirring around in the copier. You got the espresso dripping down in there, and you got the cheap ink. So, I mean, it's the perfect storm to destroy a copier. So then the smelly fish guy came in on Friday tinkered with the copier, and, I, and he didn't even tell me what he did to it. He was only here for 10 minutes, and then he left, and the copier was working again. For now, anyway. It never works for long. I don't understand how it is that it could be 2020, and we still don't have copiers that work. Why is that? Somebody explain that to me. I don't get it. Well, don't tell anybody about this, okay? <clears throat> I keep it hidden because I don't I don't want to get anybody in trouble. And that there is enough damning evidence in my paper there to get several people fired, and I really don't want that. Okay, anyway. I guess I better let you go. I know. I gotta go, too. I, I am so busy today. I don't even have time to be in here. I do have time to eat another cookie, though. I'm so backed up with work. Mm. But... I also know that in order to achieve peak efficiency, one has to have a well-rested mind. I mean, I've got a clean mind. I did my, I've eaten clean and I've washed it down. But it's also important to have a well-rested mind. So I think before I get back to it, I believe I'm going to go down to the lounge, take a nap. And we'll go lay on the couch, take a nap. But, um, and then... You know, I figure by about 3 or 4 o'clock, I'm going to be raring to go, and I'm going to knock that work right out. 
So anyway, it was good talking to you. I'm glad I could help you with your stuff there, although it doesn't look like you got much done. Well, you know, maybe maybe if you buckle down and really concentrate, you can get some work done on it, you know, after you get home this evening or something. So anyway, it was good to see you, and I hope to see you again really soon.